Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. 2018 was a very big year for green energy around the world and here in Alberta. To discuss some of the big events of the last year, we lined up Dr. Tim Weiss. He's an expert in renewable energy and energy systems, and he's the author of Greening the Grid. My name is Tim Weiss. I'm an industrial professor at the University of Alberta, where I specialize in energy systems, and I teach courses in energy conversion. Just over a year ago, Alberta made history when it secured 600 megawatts of wind power at the lowest price in Canadian history. A year ago today almost, Alberta procured wind energy at 3.7 cents a kilowatt hour, which is the lowest cost we've seen in all of Canada in history. Then, in late 2018, the province secured another 400 megawatts of wind power for 4 cents a kilowatt hour. In short, wind power is now the cheapest way to generate electricity. According to Dr. Tim Weiss, wind power hit another major milestone in 2018. Last year was the first year that renewables are actually out-competing the fuel cost of existing fossil fuel power plants. And that's a pretty big deal because that fundamentally sort of changes the economics, not only of new plants, but of existing facilities. And then renewables are going to start to out-compete almost anything in the market. And so that's a really major inflection point, I think, for clean energy in the system. According to Lazard, a company that analyzes the cost of electricity, this means the operating costs of coal plants are now more than the cost of building and operating renewable energy projects. Projects. That's a game changer for the future. Why says the next big news of 2018 comes from Volkswagen. Other big announcements in my mind, Volkswagen announcing that by 2026, that'll be their last line of new internal combustion engines and they'll be moving all to electric beyond that. And they're the largest car manufacturer in the world. And so that means that we're kind of beyond EVs being a fringe technology, but they'll well into the mainstream within the next 20 to 30 years. Why says nobody really knows how fast EVs will come on stream, but even OPEC ramped up its predictions 500% for electric vehicles in 2018. I think almost everyone who's making these types of predictions is sort of saying within the next 30 years, New car sales and electrics will outcompete internal combustion engines. Weiss says the third thing that stands out from 2018 was Canada's commitment to phase out coal fired generation by 2030. Canada finalized its regulations to phase out coal all across the country by 2030. To me, this is a huge deal because coal is the single largest source of greenhouse gas emissions globally. And if you look at any of the studies around getting to a low carbon future, You need to put things, we were just talking about electric cars, right? You need the electric cars onto the system. You need to be moving heating onto the electricity system. And you can't do any of those things unless you have a clean electricity system. And so getting coal out of the system is a huge, huge deal globally. The Canadian commitment follows Alberta's 2015 commitment to phase out coal. And Ontario phased out coal almost a decade ago. Alberta is also committed to getting 30% of its electricity from renewable energy by 2030. Alberta has now become the leader in renewables in the sense that this is the largest market for new investment in renewables in Canada. And renewables are really kind of born in Alberta, which I think is something that people don't remember or talk about very often. That Southern Alberta is one of the windiest jurisdictions in all of the country and kind of got its foothold here. Not only that... I think the last stat I saw was about 50% of all the wind energy developed across Canada is owned by Alberta-based or Calgary-based companies. Phasing out coal and bringing on renewables will significantly reduce emissions. But even at 30% renewable, Alberta will still be only half the national average. Tune in next week for part two of our year-end wrap-up. Learn more at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.